It wouldn't be Halloween without a pumpkin lantern sitting on your windowsill. And I'm going to show you how to make the job easier by using this pumpkin carving kit. Now inside it's got all the tools you need plus the different templates for your design. And the first thing you need to do is choose the right pumpkin. I like to find a nice wide one and make sure it sits quite firmly on the board. You don't really want a wobbly one. Now before we start carving we need to hollow out the pumpkin. So the first thing we need to do is take out that lid. Just go round the top and just so that you know where to put it back, make yourself a little indicator, like a little bit that sticks out. Once that's clearly marked, start by using a sawing tool. I'm just going to make a little incision so I can get the saw in and then holding it at an angle. When we put the lid back on, we don't want it to drop through. So it's a good idea to hold it at an angle like that and then saw. So I'm just continuing round and our lid should be loose. So let's just try and ease it off. Oh, and then out it comes. I'll just pull those bits off. Now if you look inside, there's lots of stringy bits of pumpkin and quite a lot of seeds and we need to get rid of all of that. And then this is when you need your scooping tool. And we're just going to work away. Go around the top first to make yourself a bit of space. What you want to see is a shell that's about two and a half centimetres thick. Oh now it's quite a messy job carving a pumpkin, but of course it's worth all the effort. Now of course you can roast these pumpkin seeds, just wash them and roast them with a little bit of sea salt, they're lovely. All cleaned out now, now it's time to carve the face. Now there's quite a lot of templates to choose from, from spiders to ghosts. I'm going for a quite a classic skull face here and I've just cut along the lines and I'm going to tape it into place. So just position it. Now, of course, if you're talented in the art department, you could just draw on a design using the crayon. But for me, much easier just to use a paper template and cut round it. So that's my template firmly fixed down. And I'm going to begin with this drill tool, just by puncturing a hole. And you can continue making holes every two or three millimetres. Or, if you want to, you can use the wheel here and just press it down. You've got to go through the paper, so you need to be quite firm. Now I've got to the teeth, which are quite an intricate part of my design here. So really take your time and mark them out carefully because they're a really important, crucial part to making our lantern looking spooky. Now that's my template completely marked out, so I'm just going to remove the paper. And there you can see his face all ready now for carving. Push all the way through, and that's just so that I can get the saw in. Angle it slightly upwards and you can move the pumpkin as you saw as well, which makes it all a little bit easier. There we go. I'm just in the last little section of my teeth. To make it easier, I'm just going to saw down to make it into sections and then just remove it a piece at a time. There we are. There we go. Now we just need to neaten him up a little bit and then we're ready to pop in our candle. Just need to leave it for a few moments and then you'll find that it makes a black smoke hole and that's where you need to cut the vent. And we're sort of making a little chimney for the heat to escape out of. Pop that lid back on and it is our carved pumpkin all ready for Halloween. Mm -hmm.